Auburn's running mate at tackle is all pro Bob Lilly. Lilly, number 74, is the quickest tackle in football. He destroys offenses. His powerful rush overwhelms blockers and consumes quarterbacks. It often takes two, even three men to contain Lilly. Even then, your chances are small. Eventually, Bob will wade through the blocking shield and sort out the quarterback. Linebackers, like Chuck Howley, supplement the rush of the front four. Number 52, right side linebacker Dave Edwards is always ready to meet the challenge of a runner head on. Leroy Jordan, number 55, moved into the middle in 1966. His blitzes made the secondary's job much easier. The Cowboys secondary is the fastest in football. All members possess sprinter speed and lightning reflexes. They use speed in a singular violent blur of action. Coach Dick Nolan teaches them to react to the ball. Sometimes it's breathtaking. Along with speed and an appetite for aggression, there is also a little luck involved. Mike Gector was the comeback story for Dallas in 66. Free safety Mel Renfro is the quickest member of the racehorse secondary. Warren Livingston, number 41, has a knack for the spectacular. was all pro for the second straight year. The balance of both offensive and defensive units was the overriding factor in three key Dallas victories late in the season. They had the ball on their one yard line. The players diagrammed and the phones were hot. From his own end zone, Don Meredith coolly moved the ball club. When no one was open, he took charge of the game himself. Gent cleared his defender, and the Cowboys had penetrated midfield. But time was still their enemy. Again, Meredith was forced to run, this time to kill the clock. An overly zealous Redskin fouls Meredith out of bounds, and the ball moves 15 yards further toward the Redskin goal. Fifteen seconds remaining, Danny Villanueva kicks the decisive field goal. The comeback victory gave the Cowboys a confidence they maintained throughout the rest of the season.
volatile Browns came to the Cotton Bowl, trailing the Cowboys by only one half game. Behind 7-6, the Cowboys take the lead as Meredith throws a screen pass to Reeves. And the wily halfback fights his way through the Browns and across the goal line. The Browns regain the lead at halftime, 14-13, as Frank Ryan throws a touchdown to Ernie Green. Two field goals give the Cowboys a slim 19-14 lead at the end of the third quarter. Lou Groza tries to pull the Browns within two points, but his field goal attempt is blocked by Gector. An alert Brown lineman recovers the ball and tries to heave it to number 35, Galen Fiss. But Mel Renfro intervenes and intercepts the Aaron football. As he did against Washington, Meredith comes up with the clutch pass. And the calculated scramble as the Cowboys drive to victory. Leading Reeves perfectly, the Cowboys reach the Browns' 10-yard line. From there, it takes Don Perkins nine knifing strides to victory as time runs out on the Browns. The 26-14 win kept Dallas in first place. A title was certain only if they could beat the Cardinals. The Cowboys beat them with the big play. Behind center Dave Manders blocking, Dan Reeves went virtually untouched up the middle for a touchdown. The second big offensive play was by Bob Hayes, who beat Pat Fisher to the goal line and the ball. Bell Renfro's interception off Chuck Howley's deflection was the big Dallas defensive play. situation dictated certain simple strategy. Give the ball to Perkins. Don delivered the touchdown and Cardinal title hopes faded in the fog. These are the eyes of the fastest man in shoulder pads. Bob Hayes is a charter member of Speed Incorporated and led all NFL receivers with 13 touchdowns. It's almost impossible to shut Hayes down with a lone defender. Hayes' deceptive change of pace and fluid moves make him an elusive target in the open field. What people come to see are his touchdowns. Bob beat defenders by the mere margin of a vainly outstretched arm. Or by a mile.
his 13 touchdowns came on the shortest patterns and almost the very longest. But no matter how short or long, he did it with speed. Hayes epitomizes the Dallas speed, breathtaking speed that came within an eyelash of taking them to the Super Bowl. Speed that went flat out to a title. In their formative years, the Dallas Cowboys may have relied on sheer speed, such as that of Bob Hayes. But every year since then, they've gotten better in every department. And now speed is but one of a vast array of armaments stockpiled in the Dallas arsenal. I'm Pat Summerall, and I hope you'll join me when... Maryland.